Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Toxic Health. And we're here to talk about the subject of toxic health, and that is plant growth defects, and how radiation can cause plants to deform. And this particular experiment that we're setting up is designed to see whether we can get these plants to deform in the presence of ionizing radiation that is produced by ionizing smoke detectors. So the reason why this particular plant over here has five ionizing smoke detectors next to it is because when I went around my home, I actually found that when the house was built, the people who built it installed five ionizing smoke detectors throughout the house. So this number five was picked simply because that's pretty typical of what you'll find in an American home these days that has just been newly constructed. My house was built in 2004. So the current guidelines are to have a smoke detector in each bedroom and one on each level of the house in the general areas. So that's where the number five came from in my home. So the middle plant is actually going to be grown with a single ionizing smoke detector and it will be interesting to see if the plants deform and if they do deform what the difference is between the deformity of one plant with one smoke detector and one plant with five smoke detectors. And this is going to be the control plant that's going to be grown far away from this experiment and it should give us an idea of the level of deformities of the plants do indeed deform. And one of the things that I've been paying attention to recently is radiation-induced sickness and uh, disease. And one of the diseases that's strongly associated with ionizing radiation is thyroid cancer. So um, I kind of think there may be a link to thyroid cancer and this experiment in the fact that if you go back just over a decade, you probably would have found that there was only one smoke detector installed in a home. And you come forward to the, the last decade and the guidelines changed and suddenly we found that there was a lot more smoke detectors installed. And these smoke detectors use americium to produce the radiation to ionize the detector so that you can pick up the smoke and set off the alarm. So the interesting thing about americium is it is a toxic product out of nuclear power plants. It's actually derived from nuclear power plant radioactive waste and they highly process it into americium and then put it in smoke detectors. So every time you put an ionizing smoke detector into your home, you're putting a little bit of nuclear power plant waste into your home as well. So that's something you should be aware of and uh, increasing the background radiation levels, which is what these smoke detectors do, may have long-term consequences to both your health and the health of your family. So you should pay attention to how the radiation environment is in your own home and your workplace and you should assess it and react accordingly and uh, it's very simple to get rid of these ionizing smoke detectors because optical smoke detectors are available and uh, I, while I don't recommend that you take down all your smoke detectors what I do actually recommend is that you replace your ionizing smoke detectors with optical smoke detectors and uh, that will get rid of the nuclear power plant waste out of your home and I think the only product that uses nuclear power plant waste in the home are ionizing smoke detectors. So if your health is important to you, it's, you probably don't want these ionizing smoke detectors in your environment. So there you have it. This is this experiment and as soon as I have the results, I expect it will take about three months for the next growth cycle to come through on these plants. I will post another YouTube to follow up. I wish you the very best of health and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks. Bye.